We got to stay at the Randolph Hotel in Oxford, which is part of the Graduate Hotels. It is so quirky and fun, but also perfectly fits into Oxford with all of its details. Our room had cute and quirky things like the rabbit lamp, vintage style telephone, and the wonderful Mallon and Getz toiletries. We had breakfast in the Alice restaurant, which totally suits its name, with pink cushioned benches and beautiful artwork by John Broadley, inspired by the cartoonist Osbert Lancaster, a resident of the hotel who paid for his keep in paintings, which you can find in the Lancaster room. The breakfast was absolutely delicious with so much choice. The super smoothie was amazing, but the food was well thought out and totally yummy. Then it was time for a trip into the city. We didn't have too long and it was raining, but boy, did I fall in love with Oxford. It's now one of my favorite cities in the UK. Gorgeous buildings around every corner, making you feel like you stepped into history itself, walking along the footsteps of the likes of C.S. Lewis and Tolkien. We walked around some more and made it to Magdalen College, where C.S. Lewis attended. It was truly beautiful. We made a stop at Bird and Blend Tea, which is my absolute favorite. They actually have their own tea specific to Oxford and inspired by Oxford called the Oxford Comma. I had to come away with the bag. And it smells and tastes as if you're in the coziest library. We made our way back to our hotel for some afternoon tea at the Randolph. There is a pianist there, which really sets the atmosphere and the designer of the afternoon tea in the room itself matches in so effortlessly. We had a tasty afternoon tea with yummy scones and clotted cream in such a lovely setting. We had the loveliest short time in Oxford and I can't wait to go back. Highly recommend the trip here.